Welcome to the homework for lesson 29. This is module 7 of third grade. Getting close to the end here. Um, third grade math. Name first, please. Catherine puts two squares together to make the rectangle below. The side lengths of the squares measure 8 inches. We've seen a lot of this lately. Squares put together to make rectangles. So let's see. These are 8, so... I'm just going to put eights all over here. Before I even read the questions, I just I just know I'm going to this will help me figure out whatever I have to figure out that's coming up. And you, I'm sure I'll be right. What is the perimeter of the rectangle Catherine made with her two squares? So we can just count the eights, right? So that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 eights. Perimeter equals one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. And you can write it as eight times six, and I mentioned this in other homework assignments too, is that I like to just keep addition for perimeter and multiplication for area. Um, so I like to write it as addition, and I'll, I'll talk about it in my head mentally. I'm thinking that it's six eighths. And these are inches. The perimeter of Catherine's rectangle new rectangle is forty eight inches. What's the area of Catherine's rectangle? Well, it's going to be two eighths, right? It's length times width, right? So it's going to be two eighths times one eighth, which means it's going to be two eighths is 16. So area is going to be 16 times eight. Now that is not on your 12 by 12 multiplication chart. If that's where you use a 10 by 10, whatever you use, it's probably not going to be on it. But, so how can we think of this? You could just think of what's the area of this square is 8 times 8. So this one is 64, and this one is 64, and you could add the two 64s together. There are many other ways to do it. Um, and one of the others is to just look, if you just look at this 16 times 8, that's 10 times 8. plus 6 times 8. And those are two facts you know that you can add together. That's just another, it's all going to come to the same answer, the same product. So that's going to be 80, and that's 48, and 80 plus 48 is 128. which is the same as 64 plus 64. However you do it, write it down. Write down the equations that you that in, in either have this stuff here or write down the 64 plus 64. And just solve it vertically. The area of And this is square inches. Catherine decides to draw another rectangle of the same size. What's the area of the new larger rectangle? So this is an 8 by 16. And she put another 8 by 16. So this area is twice as big as the last one. So if the last one was 128, it's going to be 128 times 2, which equals, right? Or you could just add them. But if you really want to multiply them in your head, this is how I, you can either add them 
can do that. Or if you really just want to be use multiplication, you're dedicated to it, think of it as 100 times 2 plus, if you can double 28 in your head, you could go with that, but you could think of 20 times 2 plus 8 times 2. And you're going to get numbers that are easy to add in your head. So you're going to get 200 plus 40 plus 16, and you can see that's 256. It'll be the same as if you added it. 16, 5, and 2. So the area is 5. And you don't have to do both ways, please. And they're square. I just want to show that they're there's more than one way to do it. And this is the next uh, page. Daryl draws six equal sized rectangles as shown below to make a new larger rectangle. The area of one of the small rectangles is 12 square centimeters and the width of the small rectangle is four centimeters. So if the area is 12 square centimeters then and this is 4 then we have to think 12 divided by 4 is 3 so the sides are 3 just the first thing I'm thinking of looking at the picture before I even read the question what is the perimeter of Daryl's new rectangle so we have to know what the side lengths are we've done enough of these rectangle puzzles that you might know eventually you're gonna have to figure all this stuff out so that's a 4 Those are threes, so I know that this side is two threes, which is six. And I know that this side here is three fours, which is twelve. And I just wrote over the question, what is the perimeter of Daryl's new rectangle? So I'm going to write out the, uh, I need two sixes and two twelves. Six plus 6 plus right perimeter equals 6 plus 12 plus 12 and you might look at this and say that's either these the 6 plus 6 is another 12 and say that's 3 12s which is 36 if you know your 12s or you could look at these 12s and look at them and think of them as 6s and think that's 2 4 6 6s six which is it all comes to 36 However you do it, you have to have that, you have to have some kind of equation in this sentence. The picture is already drawn for you. Centimeters. What's the area of Daryl's new rectangle? So that's 12 times 6. Because that's the length times the width. So area equals 12 times 6. If you know your 12s, good on you. And but it, they're actually they, be, they they're very uh, they come in very handy to know, especially when you start talking about standard measurements where you where you're 12 inches is a foot, so that's six feet. You might know that off the top of your head if you're good with your with your facts, but you might otherwise you might think of uh, this is ten times six plus two times six, which is sixty plus twelve, and that's pretty easy to add in your head. And please write this down. However you did in your head, that's good. We want to see that. Please, please have that. Don't leave that out. Um, 72. So the area is 72 square.
centimeters. The recreation center soccer field measures 35 yards by 65 yards. Chris dribbles the soccer ball around the perimeter of the field four times. What's the total number of yards Chris dribbles the ball? So, all right, so read it. So he's going around the soccer field four times. We know the length and the width of the field. I'm just summarizing it. So it's like some self-talk can really help here um, if you're not sure what it is you're supposed to do. So your picture is going to be a picture of the soccer field. This is a rectangle. And this is 35 by 65. And these are yards. So we've got the perimeter is thirty five plus thirty five plus sixty five plus sixty five. Now I'm looking at thirty five and sixty five and mentally I see the that six and three, that's nine tens, and those two fives, that's another ten. So I'm thinking it's really it's easier to think of thirty five and sixty five than then uh, 235s and 265s. So that's going to be 200s, right? Because 35 plus 65 is 100. So perimeter is uh, is 100. No, it's, it's this because that's 100 and that's 100. You write that stuff out and leave it there just like I did, if that's how you did it in your head. Because it shows your mental math. You really want to show that. So, two hundred yards. So that we need four of those. So we want uh, Chris D for dribbles. All right. So D, Chris dribbles, or C for Chris. Whatever you want to do, is the two hundred times the four times he went around it. And that's 800 yards. And you could have added all this up vertically and put it one big long stack of 430 of uh, 835s and 865s. But if you chunked it up like I did, and it's a lot easier. Uh, Chris dribbles with his ball for 800 yards. <laughs>